great appeal, it seems to me, of this place and what it represents is this accessibility to speed. It's the, the sight of it, the sound of it, the smell even of, of it. It doesn't matter your background, your religion, your skin color, your native tongue, okay? It doesn't matter, yeah? We all speak English and we all love to ride bikes. When you're new and you first start coming here and you know nobody, you feel all shy, but then everyone starts talking to you and like bringing you into like a bike family. It's amazing. And what I particularly enjoy here is seeing people enjoy themselves. And, and, and that is the big buzz for me. And it, and it can be my age group and older, waxing lyrical about yesteryear, or it can be you know, the, 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 the modern generation, talk, well, I can't do it, but you know, they're clicking the fingers and the rest of it, about how wicked their wheels is. <laughs> So if anyone had a problem, a biker would look after another biker. Like if you've broken down on the side of the road, a biker will stop and see if you're okay, try and help you to get you back on the road again. We, we say hello to each other. We, we don't know who that is on the bike there crossing us, but we have respect to each other. Uh, it's kind of a jungle, you know, the road out there. So uh, the strongest survive. We, we're so close to death all the time that it makes us feel more alive, definitely. Yes. <laughs> But ultimately, you're exposed to the same risks. Inherent in that, I think, it, it, it brings people together. There's shared risk and, to some extent, then shared values. Something that we lose a little bit values amongst us, like respect, yeah? and that's something you recognise and feel uh, within the Viking community. I can vicariously, through this place and those that come here indulge in that if you like fantasy and I'm sure I'm not the only one who, who, who does so.